So we'll s I'm going to start just, uh, this is number 10 on section 1.8. Now, what conclusion can be drawn from the following? So they're basically asking us to do what we did in class today. Given a few statements that we are, you know, that, that we're being given, can we make some sort of conclusion? Can we make some sort of chain of reasoning? Now, the first thing that I'm going to do, and I actually saw a few of you do this, which was great, is abbreviate. If the line is long, then Quincy will go home. If the line is long, then Quincy will go home. That's how I'm going to abbreviate that statement. Where L equals line is long, and H equals Quincy will go home. Because I know if I just pay attention to the context of the problem, I'm going to get confused. I mean, th this problem is written to be confusing. I'm going to decontextualize it and just deal with these letters. If it is morning, then Quincy will not go home. What am I going to put here? H yeah, not H. So M means it's morning. So if it is morning, then Quincy will not go home. If the line is long, then it is morning. What can I put here? L, not is equal, but L, if L, then M. So now it's just a problem like we did in class today. So actually, right here, I'm going to pause, work with your group. What can you do? Who can help us make a chain of logic here? Yeah. Okay, so if L then H, and you're making the contrapositive of this, which is H then not M. Okay. All right. So. Let's take the contrapositive of this. And we have not M, then L. I'm sorry, then not, a, not L, right? All right. Yeah, so does anybody, s so what's the answer? What can we conclude? Say it. If what? The line is long, the line. If the line is long, then the line isn't long. So what does that mean? It contradicts itself. It contradicts itself. So what does this mean? It means that one of these statements can't be true. One of these statements is false. At, actually, I should say at least one. At least one of these statements is false. So when they ask you what can you conclude, one thing you can conclude that whoever's telling you these statements, they're not completely accurate. At least something is wrong because these contradict th themselves. Now, just saying this doesn't make sense is one level of explanation. Showing this and actually showing the contradiction is obviously a much more thorough level of explanation. So when we're doing the homework, that's what you'd want to say, you know, um, contradiction, which means that at least one of the original statements must be false. 